This week I'm exploring some of my favorite spots in all of Lassen Volcanic National Park. Come join me. The National Park System acquired Sulphur Works in 1952, over three decades after Lassen became a national park. The boardwalk makes this an easy trail, and the interpretive loop takes you around steam vents, rumbling vents, and bubbling mud pots all in under a quarter mile. There are many interpretive signs posted here along the trail, so you can get more information about this unique place. The lovely gravel path that leads to Bumpus Hell is lined with beautiful trees and purple wildflowers. This spot was named after pioneer Kendall Van Hook Bumpus, who quite literally stumbled onto this area in 1886, severely burning his leg when he stepped in one of the boiling pools. I often like to take the road less traveled, but this is one exception. The National Park System has put a great deal of time and resources into the beautiful boardwalk to keep us safe, and you don't want to be wandering off. Over 16 acres of boiling springs, mud pots, and hissing vents can be found on this hike. Just be aware the trail is often closed for the winter until mid-June or even early July. Bumpus Hell is the largest hydrothermal area in all of Lassen Volcanic National Park. And the big boiler located here is the largest fumarole in the park with temperatures recorded as high as 322 degrees, making it one of the hottest fumaroles in the entire world. There are over a dozen permanent snow fields found here in the park, and over 200 bird species, including everything from bald eagles to hummingbirds that make their home here, as well as numerous reptiles and amphibians. Now, the last major eruption at the park occurred at Lassen Peak between 1915 and 1917. Lake Helen sits 8,200 feet above sea level, and it was named after the first woman to climb Lassen Peak in 1864. It's fed by snow runoffs, and you can't go swimming here in the summer, but that would be one cold dip. If you enjoy Lake Helen, you may want to also give Emerald Lake a visit. It's located less than half a mile away, and the algae that blooms here gives this lake its unique emerald green color.
Today I'm headed to the devastated area interpretive trail in Lassen Volcanic National Park. This is a great and quick stop that can be easily enjoyed in less than 30 minutes because the loop is under half a mile. Let's go! You have great views of the east side of Lassen Peak from here and when you see how far we are from the summit it's incredible to think how some of these SUV sized boulders traveled over two miles during the eruption. While this area might not look devastated right now, it got its name from the massive destruction that happened as a result of the 1915 eruption of Lassen Peak. The famous Hot Rock stood alone here on barren ground after the 1915 eruption. You can see how the natural habitat has recovered, but because Lassen Peak is a dormant volcano, another eruption is expected at some point in the future. This national park is home to cinder cone, plug dome, shield, and composite volcanoes, and it contains over 300 active volcanic domes. Kings Creek Trail is a popular trail here in Lassen Volcanic National Park, but if you want to do the full hike, it's a bit strenuous at five miles, high elevation, and some unstable terrain. There are many beautiful lakes here in this national park, including Lake Manzanita and Reflection Lake, located just off the side of the road past the entrance. Kings Creek Meadow is a scenic spot where Kings Creek meanders through the expansive meadow at the foot of Lassen Peak. Now I know when people think of those great American national parks, they think of Yellowstone or Yosemite. I think that Lassen Volcanic National Park is a truly special and unique park. Thanks for joining me in Lassen Volcanic National Park, 
For more information, see my blog post at flyingdawnmarie.com. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and hit that subscribe button. Until next week, I hope you find adventure and encouragement wherever you go. Bye.